This career video series gives students an overview of our exciting industry, career opportunities, and valuable human resources information to assist you in your job preparation. In video one, industry overview, three industry experts discuss a high level view of the tourism, sports, hospitality, and events industry. We will also cover the importance of IUPUI's location to downtown, Indianapolis's place as a top event destination, transferable career skills, and advice to stand out in a crowd. We're now a $5 billion a year visitor industry here in central Indiana, and that's grown tremendously over the last decade or two. Uh, just in the last six years, since 2011, when we opened up the convention center expansion and the 1,005 room JW Marriott, we've seen our convention bookings increase by 50%. Uh, we've gone from about 600,000 hotel room nights a year, and that's kind of the key metric. We look at how many hotel room nights did you contract for a convention, and we're now closer to 900,000 per year, uh, which is incredible growth, uh, well beyond even what the forecasters had when we planned our convention center expansion years ago. So this is a multi-billion dollar industry. It supports about 78,000 full-time equivalent jobs in central Indiana, and again, those jobs range from a job that's flexible and allows people uh, the opportunity to work when they want to and need to, to careers all throughout uh, central Indiana. There are many career options within sports and tourism in general. Um, what I work on personally is in the sports sector. So it's bidding on um, and doing strategic planning for years in advance on what sporting events we should bring to Indianapolis and what rotation. Um, other opportunities include everything from actually doing sport competition organization on the field of play, um, running a box office, running a facility and doing maintenance. Um, everything from that to working at a hotel, doing sales or services. You could work at a museum and do special events there, wedding planning. Um, it, it's really across the board, so there's a lot of exciting opportunities. And then some of those are falling outside of actual event planning. So perhaps you're a finance person and you want to be involved with that. We need that kind of direction financially for all of our events. We need HR assistance marketing, ticket sales, and promotions. So it's really a, a great variety to choose from depending on what you're interested in. The great thing about it is you're in a business that uh, is very dynamic. It's gonna change every single day, every single week, especially here in Indianapolis where it's such a convention-based city. Um, it, it's one of those things you have a nice common routine that makes it comfortable to work every day, but every single day is different. And you may think you've got the whole day planned out and it ends up being completely different than you thought. But at the end of the day, it's always exciting. It's always kind of during figuring out how to be able to be the best you can and how to make, make sure you're taking care of your groups, your, um, your groups, your customers, um, your staff. Um, and so it makes it really fun. And um, so you're never bored because there's always something to do, something to work on, uh, and you just never get tired of what you're doing every single day. This industry, you really see a lot of interconnectivity between sports and conventions and leisure tourism. It's, you can do a, have a, a background and have them apply to pretty much all those different categories. My undergraduate's in journalism, I wanted to be a sports writer, and ultimately I wound up getting to go to a lot of sporting events because I stayed in the, in the tourism and hospitality industry. But you've got skill sets that, uh, whether you can put on a Super Bowl or whether you can put on a Gen Con or FFA, uh, convention or a performance racing industry show, uh, there, you know, the same skill sets are, are what's really valuable to be able to deliver that. You've got to be able to manage logistics, do strategic planning, deliver great hospitality, and it applies across the board really to all sorts of different events. Students in, at IUPUI have a great opportunity because they are an, on an urban campus. They're surrounded by businesses and sporting groups alike. So you can do anything from internships that are paid or unpaid. You can get yourself involved with volunteering. You can find mentors in the city, which I think might be more difficult to do if it wasn't an urban campus. And I think there's a spirit of uh, desire to help students learn and get involved in the community. We want the younger generation to support and love what we find in Indianapolis to be our greatest selling point. So great hospitality, a great sense of welcomeness, a competency that we're able to do anything we set our minds to. And so I think these are opportunities students can grab a hold of and really change their careers with. I believe it's really important for students to get the experience. First off, you know, you're investing a lot in your education and nothing worse than you've done all that investment to get out and then you find out that it's just not for you. So the fact that you're, you can come in and start to understand what the business truly is like, because um, we want to match it up because it only ends up being a win-win situation if you find that you really are passionate about what you're going to do. 
um, and it lines with what you're studying. And if it's not, you want to know sooner than later. Um, and then once you get in, again, it builds that foundation that you can start to build skill sets that's going to help you get an opportunity as you start ready to get ready to graduate. So, um, and you may think you want to be in the front office room operation. You may try it and find out, you know, that's not exactly what I want, but wow, I really like what that department does and, and maybe you get a chance to shadow and learn about it. And then from there, maybe you find out that where your true passion is. Um, and the great thing is it doesn't matter where you start. Um, there's still always opportunities. If you've got those base skills, um, you know, that you can, that you've got enthusiasm, a willingness to learn, and can be part of a team. The technical, we can teach. Leadership is what we're going to be looking for when we hire people. Um, and if you can have, if you can be a leader and, and be able to lead others and teach um, and have fun while you're doing it, then you can be successful virtually almost any department within our hotel. The best thing I think anybody could do when they're starting out is to do just a really strong job and focus on the job at hand. I, I see sometimes folks getting ahead of themselves and they want a promotion before they've figured out what they're even doing uh, in their first job. And uh, my advice I, I generally give to people, especially those starting out in their career, is if you do a great job at what you're supposed to be doing, people notice and it'll lead to the next job and that job will need the next job. And, and try not to to overly focus on what you want next, focus on what you are doing right now, and people will notice. I think the best advice I could give that I would take for my own career is to be willing to do anything. Keep a really open mind, and so don't get so set on, I'm going to you know, run a sporting event or I'm going to work for a pro team, that you let these great daily, weekly opportunities pass you by. A willingness to get involved, give of your time, give of your brain power, come up with great ideas, don't limit that to sports or I want to be a convention planner. Have an open mind to it. Every one of those opportunities lends an opportunity to learn and grow your experience, which I find you just carry with you and you continue to build. I mean, I'm learning every day still. So I think my best advice is no job is too small and no job is too important. You can do them all and play a different role depending on what your, your participation is with a project. This video was supported by a Lilly Endowment Incorporated Education Grant.